Hi there, I'm Robert Dudzik and welcome you to How I Use What I Use, uh, where I'm discussing all my plugins, my softwares, my gear, what I'm using to creating my sound design. And today it's something special, what I was waiting for a very long time to show you, and we're going to talk about Rolly latest edition and not about the blocks because this is just, you know, the hardware, but I want to talk today about the latest edition and upgrade version. It's me Equator 2. Even they call like Equator, it's a synthesizer. I would just put like little slash and just say synthesizer slash sampler. Because yes, you can import your own samples right now and you can tune them to play them MPE. And I will show you in this video how to do this thing. And as a sound designer, I strongly recommend you to get this in your arsenal because that it's no any plugin, no any other instruments will give you, as long as I know today, bring you sound into and turn them to the MPE and play them in five dimension for, for whatever you do. So let's jump to the equator and let's focus on Rory and we're going to do a quick overview and I will show you after how I creating my sounds, make your sounds unique to bring you on samples. Okay, so let's jump in. One of the first thing, what I noticed, that's the little thing right here, it's me in Rory right now, software equator is resizable. First thing I would recommend you if for the good start, just let's go to the browser and see how this browser organized because it's completely new design of the browser too. So to order this thing, click right here. And here we go. That's the full browser. And you see little red icons and blue icons. The blue stay for the MPE sounds and the red stay for the MIDI sounds, which means you can play them on the keyboards and regular keyboard. But I want to focus today only on the MPE. So if I want to use the MPE five dimension sounds, click right here. And we have only MPE sounds. And I don't know if I mentioned already, but the new equators come with 1400 brand new sounds. So that is a lot of stuff. And you can mix them, combine them with you, whatever you want, with so many new waveforms. So sky is the limit and your imagination is the limit what you can create in the software. So you, as you see, uh, it's browser is pretty well organized actually because you have the location, you have the type MIDI or standard, but let's go to MPE. Then you have the engine. If you like the sounds and you're looking for like sounds from the equator, the original one, just click equator two. And you have all from the original, but if you want to focus on the equator two, what's new? Just click on this one and you have all of them or just have all of them together. And there's so many categories. You have different categories by sources, by inst instruments, by articulation and by timber. And right and on the right side, you have the micro control of the five sounds. Well, basically, when you play your keyboard, you can control it, showing you what you control controlling with this thing. So let's check, first of all, like some of the sounds. So. I know a lot of people always asking for like orchestra stuff. And yes, there are amazing orchestra stuff sounds too. There it's so many great sounds. This is just... This is so cool thing, it's just imagine. You can add your own samples to this thing and you can modify the sounds and you do whatever you want. So this is like some orchestra stuff, uh, but yes, I like effects because the sound designers are always looking for like cool sound effects. So there are a lot of stuff. This is really cool. So there's a whole bunch of these drums. To be honest with you, I always like combination sounds because you really don't know what's a combination and I know they're pretty deep. So let's check some combinations. Let's go up tough lower. Okay. 
this is cool. You can do really cool stuff. What else we have? Uh, piano strings. Let's check some synths because, oh, I want to mention you. The people behind these engines right now, they are people from origin like F expansion school creating like Strobe 2 and Cypher 2. So Larry of the great behind mind behind this since what's already the MPE have so many MPE sounds that actually when implement to this engine so you can tell like the synth sounds just the insane and as you see like I don't prepare any sounds what I want to show you because it's because there's just so many of them And there will be just not fair to you, it's just showing something fake. I want to show you like the really stuff with the sounds. So you just can go hours and hours through all these sounds and try to figure out what you want to use. But let's go just do like quick overview. So like first you have synths where you can put different samples everywhere right here. And I can show you that. Then you have roadings when you can connect all your filters, the orders, what you want to do. And the coolest thing what I like, the effects. You have 12 slots for the effects. And you can move them around control and to activate any effects add to the chain, all you have to do click right here. And choose any of them, what do you want? And just add. Or if you want to move, you like the effects move in a different spot. Just drag and move and it's here and completely change the sounds right away. I I'm sure they're going to be overview videos. I just want to show you stuff what impressed me and how easy to navigate and have to be honest with you. I not even read manual to this instrument. I know that it's pretty intense, but for me, the main things and the instrument is like when I compose, when I produce, I want to discover this instrument very quickly and get to work and starting working. Because I just don't want to spend time, hours, and reading some manuals and try learning another stuff. Learning. I want everything to be self-explained for me. When you open, everything is right here, right up front of me. Then I'm starting playing, I'm making noise, and it works for me. Let's jump, and I want to show you the coolest thing. How you can import finely used samples. Long as I like, I know, Rory guys, I've been asking for this since for the long time. And a long time ago, I get like some specs, okay, you have to do this step, this step, this step to import your own sample. And that was just so complicated. And this version, it's easy. You can just drop your sample and drag and you have your MPE sound. So to this thing, let's go to browser and on this thing, uh, we go, let's choose like textures sounds. Don't say it's pretty cool. You know what? There will be a cool thing to show you what you can do with your sound. So first of all, go sense and you see all the samples right here. And you can see them right here. One, two, three, four, there's five samples. But let's activate this one. And instead noise, look at this. I can go to sampler right here and look at this when you click right here you have your window when you can drop your own sample right now so let's choose this is cool and look at this the sample appear right here so let's close it and play it And you hear my sample is already in. It's me. This is how easy you can add your unique stuff. But a lot of times, if you go like even more different complicated sounds, uh, how about here? I can go. 
Hello? Now you hear my sounds? So that's my sound, look at this solo. So I just drag this thing and become like really cool part of what's make the instruments right now unique. And it's make full MPE sound. And no time. So same thing here. You can go right here and let's just replace this one with Let's put like bell effects. It's too loud. Oh, this is amazing. And you can play the same thing in the MIDI, watch. Even if you don't have a you rolly block, you can play in your regular MIDI controller. Of course, you have less control than having rolly block, but you know what? It's just worth it completely. Get and let's get another replace and let's this part maybe replace with piano low string vibration and let's this one replace with. Water hurt? No, hit no, I don't wanna Yeah, and now we have hundred percent sound make base of my own samples what you can do. How cool is that? And of course, if you like your sound, it's very easy to save. All you have to go, save us, name of the presets, and it's called like RD1, and save. And you're done. This is how easy it is and how fantastic is the new Rolly Equator software is. I, I, I have to say, this is the must have a tool right now for any modern contemporary composer or sound designer. Because what you can do with your own samples, you can just bring this to the next level. And I'm telling you, I was not even scratched the surf what this instrument is capable to do right now. And with all this control, it's just a mind blowing. And I'm sure with your imagination, you will be able to creating so much really, really cool sound. So. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next video. Bye.